Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Just finished doing the real world testing on the Racer Star Tattoo 4 in 1 ESC, which is a BLH 32 ESC. And um, if you are new here or you've missed the previous ones, we've done the best ten best ten testing for noise and we've also done the build video. So I'll leave a link to those down in the description as well as the products, everything here, all your links down there. They're all affiliated links, so if you would like to use them, that'd be super awesome. Now let's get going. So couple things before we get going uh, if you also if you're new here this is our motor testing quad we just recently built and uh, we use the Matek F405 flight controller with the sensitive gyro which is very picky with specific ESCs which indu when, which um, induce noise to the system it'll just twitch like crazy it barely won't fly so what I've done here is I've put the racer star tattoo with the Matek F405 with the sensitive gyro without any low ESR capacitors or any filtration. Everything is just default. Uh, the PID and gyro are 8K, 4K, and we do have a bad bearing. And the soft mounting on this sensitive gyro is just O-rings. I didn't even use the standoffs that come with it, those nice ones. So, you know, it's, it was a recipe for nasty yaw jitters um, if the ESC wasn't good. And I did this on purpose except the standoffs things because I used them for another quad but everything else I did on purpose to see how good this ESC is and this was this is um what will, will actually tell us if it's good or bad have a durability I have no idea but I'll keep flying this more often because it's going to be our motor testing quad and uh it will be testing motors on this guy all right now the ESC I'm going to tell you I'm absolutely impressed the Maytech F405, no low ESR capacitor, connected directly to the, these, this 4 in 1 ESC. Um, no yaw jitters, no yaw twitches, uh, no issues, no noise. Uh, the reason is th this also have a 12 volt regulator on board, but I did not use that 12 volt regulator to power my VTX. I powered everything off the Maytech all in one flight controller here and uh, just ran, you know, the power to the ESC down here. And you can see that in the build video. I'll leave a link down there for you guys. Um, but overall, this actually flew phenomenal. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting to jitter like crazy and start dropping the PID loop, come back here, and tell you, you know, that's it. We need a low ASR capacitor and we can see how far we can take it. But no, 8K, 4K, not a single issue. And to be honest, I didn't even want to play with it. I just left it the way it is. I just flew it, I enjoyed it, I kept flying it. I just wanted to put in more packs in it. And it was absolutely phenomenal. Um, it was very good, actually. So, so far this seems like a very good ESC. I've probably put in so far eight, 12 packs. It's not really mini packs, but um, we do have a couple good days coming along with good weather. So I'm gonna be taking this guy out, this guy out and just thrashing him and just, um, yeah, just flying them more until we see how good he holds. Because the next motors we're gonna be setting up on this guy are gonna be the F60 version three and see how they are do compared to these guys. Um, and uh, these motors, I'll come back in another video as I put more packs in to tell you how they were. Um, but overall, this video is just about the ESC. I'm very impressed. No noise in the feed. Uh, no noise, obviously, in the gyro and with no low ESR capacitor. You don't know how big that is. When I say with no low ESR capacitor on the Matek, there is no yaw jitters on 8K, 4K. That is insane, in my opinion. Some people do have good luck with good ESCs, but not everyone. Some, some people do have to end up adding at least one low ESR capacitor. I've added zero nulla and i always add low ESR capacitors to my quads but i did this on purpose and i was impressed now i mean that, that's very good in, in, in terms of this esc but you know i didn't even increase the pwm frequency i just left it 24 kilohertz default and just took it out flew it and beautiful i mean i can't complain the only thing i complain about is one of the uh screws came off but that's totally fine. That usually happens to me. I just gotta put a new screw right there. But that's that's nothing. That's just me. I just had started getting a little vibrations, but I still didn't have that yaw twitch or nothing. So it's a good one. I mean, so far it seems like a good one. Uh, if anyone's used it, please let us know down in the comment section. I'm curious myself. I'm sure others will be also. But so far from the bench testing. Uh, from the real world testing the real world testing is not finished yet. It'll keep going You know, I'll keep updating you on this because it's the motor testing quad. So currently I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied I'm very pleased and I I love it Because uh, I didn't expect this and um, 
it surprised me and it's 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 a good one that's a good 4-1 ESC I don't want to bring up any names uh, this one I would recommend is 4-1 ESC and also another good 4-1 ESC but there's no data behind the other one it's just I've used it personally it's the Kikata 35 amp 4-1 ESC that one's a good one also but this one's a D-Shot 1200 and I believe it doesn't have telemetry I don't know if they set up the telemetry pads for us maybe on the second version or something but currently it's just you know D-Shot 1200 and very clean um, very clean signal I mean very clean phases it's holding the phases very well it's doing absolutely phenomenal so I'm very impressed very happy and I think it's a good one and uh, time will tell but so far everything has passed and I do recommend this one so far if you're gonna ask me you know hey should I get this or this I'm gonna tell you I use this and I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm not thinking of replacing this because this is gonna be a very important quad on the channel and I'm very happy with the setup to be honest very happy um, yeah well it was a very nice clean setup it just worked right ahead Yes, the motor pissed me off on the build video, but it's still working. But now we know something is wrong with the bearing manufacturers that these motors are coming with. Because I've also had people with other motors have the same issues now. They say oh, some motors are getting or having bad bearings. This one is just terrible. I can even feel the friction in it. But you know, just another thing just to put out there. This friction in here can create noise. And um, it didn't. It didn't make issues. So... That's a huge plus right there. That says a lot right there. Just that part right there. It does. I could feel the friction. It's not that it's frictionless from that bad bearing. This one, absolutely smooth. This one, you could feel it even on the mat here. And, well, that's it, guys. So if you're curious about the frame and everything else on here, I will be making another video on this. I'm going to put more flights in. But currently, I just wanted to come back and just tell you about this right here. And you can consider this as a maiden if you want. But I'm not going to go into the details of how it flew, beta flight, blah, 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 blah. If you need a tuning or that, that'll be in the next video. Once I perfect it, I'll come back and let you guys know. But currently, I'm going to leave you guys with the footage for this guy. Uh, this whole setup here. And it was just, it was good. It was very good. I was actually very pleased and very happy. I was worried in the beginning. But I'm glad I took this chance right here i thought this was a good way to test it and it passed with flying colors so far and yeah well that's gonna conclude for this video guys so if you've missed the previous videos i'll leave a link to them down below you can check those out uh, all the components here will also be down in links below so if you wanted to get anything just like this uh however i do believe this is an absolutely beautiful setup the motors are very good but i'll come back to the motors later on they're pretty efficient pretty powerful uh not very heavy on the battery so and they do provide power but you can feel it a little bit less than the other 2306 but it could be that sweet spot um but i'll get into that later once i put more time in and just get a more feel for it and um overall that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and i will see you next time see you guys take care